fairly new um, purchase. Um, and hey friends, welcome to Makeup Basket Monday. Thanks for being here. And you ask, what is Makeup Bag Monday? Well, it's going to be a Monday series where I'm going to be sharing with you what is in my makeup bag and what I'm going to be wearing for the week. And the products that are going to be in my bag are products from my collection that I've put away and haven't been using, take them back out again, use them in rotations. Also products that I've recently purchased that I may have not even used yet. I was inspired about doing this series by Serene Wu and Tiffany Dawn. I think Serene might have been even the originator of Makeup Bag Monday. Tiffany Dawn does Makeup Basket Mondays. If you are new to my channel, I would love if you hit the subscribe button. Please give me a thumbs up if you like these videos so I know to continue to do more of them. And if you are interested in seeing what is in my makeup bag for the week, please stick around. So what I'll be using for foundation for the week is from It Cosmetics. It is the Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I have it in Fair. It does have an SPF of 50, which I like. And it does claim to have a full coverage. It's anti-aging. And if you're new to It Cosmetics CC Cream, you haven't tried it yet. It's a color correcting full coverage cream, anti-aging hydrating serum. It has an SPF of 50, UVA, UVB, broad spectrum, physical sunscreen. And I really like the uh, It Cosmetics CC Cream. Uh, this actually is a new tube. I've already gone through one. Um, I like the way it is dispensed with a pump and it is a creamy, nice foundation and it does go on nice and smooth. It looks very light here, but it is a great match to my skin. As you can see, there is some nice coverage. There. All right, so for my eyes this week, I'm going to break out a couple of palettes actually. I have this one from Hard Candy. It is a matte palette, has some really pretty colors in there. And also from NYX, I'm gonna be using Cosmic Metals. And these are more of a shimmery um, tone to them, so I'm gonna combine them um, together. I do like a matte overall color on my lid, but shimmer or overall color on my eyes, but yet I like a shimmer just on my lid. So I love the outside packaging of the um, Hard Candy palette and it does have a mirror at the top and it does come with two decent sized brushes. I have used these. But this is the colors in the palette. And I have not used um, any of the darker colors in there. I have touched on uh, some of the lighter ones and I'm gonna swatch these for you. So we'll do, and they do have a really nice pigment. I'm going to do the blues. Some of them are on the lighter side. And then let's go with the purple. We'll even swatch that red. So there are some of the colors from the palette. They are nice and soft looking. Again, it's a matte finish. So I'll be using these on my lid. And for the cosmetic and for the cosmic metals from NYX, there are six shades in this palette. And these again are a shimmery tint to it. Really pretty. I've used these before. And let's watch these. As you can see, the kind of like the two palettes have some similar colors. Those purple, we'll do the red, or like eggplant burgundy color. And then I'll do this gold. 
this nice gold color. And that's why I kind of paired these two up together this week. I just think they're so pretty. And here, if you can see it, is the gold, the burgundy, whoop, the gold. There it goes, can you see it? The burgundy and purple. I just think these are so pretty. Really nice pigment to it. They go on really well. Also for eyes, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. I haven't used this in a while. It's not really old, but I really like the applicator. Um, I do like how it does have that nice round tip at the end. We're kind of catching all the lashes at the end and it's a nice, really nice mascara. So we're going to be using that this week. And the primer I'm going to be using is from Laura Geller. It is the Spackle Hydrating Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer. And I really like it as it, um, it's a moisturizing primer. And I have dry skin, so I really find that um, a moisturizing primer, it does do well with having my makeup look um, perfect for dry skin. I'm, I'm not fond of primers that have silicone in it. They feel kind of greasy. And this actually uh, works really well, so we'll be using that for primer. For contour this week, I'm going to be using Essence Contour and Highlight Palette. I love Essence products. They are very affordable, and this palette has a highlight in it. And it's kind of a cute, cute palette. Really nice pigment to it. And it's subtle. It's not a really bright highlight nor is the contour really, really deep. Not too overpowering. So if you like things that are subtle, this is a great palette. If you use any of these products so far, let me know down below. I'll be using that palette for contour, um, but I also did take out Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. So I'll use that for contour, and then this will be the highlight for the week. This has more of a nice shimmer than the other one. This one's really pretty. This is kind of like my fave so far. Check this out. If you can see, oh, there it goes. Can you see it? It's really pretty. Again, that's not overpowering. It's just enough. All right, so on to blush. And I really love this packaging. This is from The Balm. And the color is Warm It Up. It's like such a fun, retro looking style to it. I just think it's so cute. And as you can see, everything this week that I'm going to be using is very subtle, um, kind of warm tones, um, not too, not too crazy. I just I'm kind of in the mood for keeping it kind of um, natural, like more of a natural look for the week. So here is the blush. This is really pretty. This is kind of hint of pink to it but a warm, subtle, yet pink. Really pretty. Nice pigmentation. I like their products too. I actually have one of their highlighters. Didn't take it out this week because we're, we'll use that again in another week. So that's blush. Now let's see lips. I have um, an old product, not really old, but it's been in my collection and I have a new product. Oh my gosh, this was just out in Ulta. Um, and you know I love Buxom. Um, I've actually stated it in a, one of my other videos. But this is from, I think it's L'Oreal. I believe it's from L'Oreal. And the color that I'm gonna be wearing for the week is Daringly Nude. It is number 655. Real pretty nude. So. All right, guys. It's a warm pink color. Just love that. And then I'm gonna be using Buxom's. I, I haven't even opened it because it's just, it, I'm so excited about the packaging. It's so silly. Look at that, cute. I am absolutely in love with this packaging. I really wish this came in more than one color so I can have this collection. Maybe they will. Um, 
Oh, and my vanity, but I just love the uh, the crystal top. And the color here is White Russian. I guess they have a new line. Um, I did pick up the eye palette. I'm not going to wear it this week. I'm going to save that for next week's bud. And it has the Doofit applicator. And look at these two paired together. This is going to be fun. It's really light. But these two together, can you see the hint there? Really pretty. Subtle. I think that's what I'm all about this week, is just keeping it simple, subtle, more on the natural side. So if you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, um, if you don't, please go ahead and do so. Follow me on social media. And what I'll do is maybe post some photos of the makeup on. Um, give me some ideas. You want me to do a get ready with me using these products for the week. And what I'll do for next Monday's series is give you a review on the products that I've used for this week and also pull out the products I'll be using for next week. Thanks so much for watching. If you really like this video, please give me a thumbs up, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me if you did. So comment below, tell me what you'll be using in your makeup bag for the week and we'll see you next Monday. Have a great week.